Good evening, my Jamaican family and friends. Turn it up! Hope you're feeling angry after the nice, nice ceremony we just had. You yeah, feeling angry? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> no problem. All right, so I've known both Jill and Nell for a very long time. I think since they moved to the U.S., I've known them. And I could say that they're both very wonderful people. Okay, actually, in case you don't know, I'm... Rajan's brother. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm his ivory brother, and I'm feeling ivory right now. I really, um, the, the vows, I mean, it was just breathtaking. I don't think there was a dry eye out there amongst the group, you know. Um, just very beautiful vows, and, and their commitment to each other is astounding to me. Um, I'm so happy to be here with everyone and to be able to celebrate this day with, with Jen and Nell. They're an amazing couple and they were definitely made for each other. Um, you know, they've, they have a great relationship and I think that it's appropriate that they chose to celebrate 10 years of awesomeness this way in Jamaica. So let's give them a hand. Having my daughter Amelia has reminded me of the years when Jin was younger because the way I worry for her now is the same way I worried for him back in the days. I was very protective of him. I grieved when he hurt and was so happy when he experienced success. I was willing to give my life for him if it, if it was ever necessary because I wanted him to live a long and abundant life. On more than one occasion, I remember crying and praying, asking God to watch over him in this cruel world, because I didn't know if I would always be able to protect him, and to take my life instead of his if it was ever recorded. I guess what I'm trying to say is that my brother always had a very special place in my heart. Now he's all grown up and able to Throw parties like this in Jamaica, you know what I mean? So I guess he's, he's, he's okay, you know? Um, everything's going good for him. As for Nell, I've seen nothing but class from her ever since I've met her. You didn't expect me to say anything. But, it, but it's true. It's, I'm always joking with her giving her a hard time. But um, yes, nothing but class ever since I've met her. Her devotion to Jin is what every husband dreams of. Yes. She is very protective of him, and I have the bruises to prove it. <laughs> um, seriously though, I, I mean, I, I know that she just cares so very much about her well-being, and her every word and action, just to see the two of them interact together, it's really, really a beautiful thing to watch. And, um, hi baby. Yes, baby. And um, it's a beautiful thing to watch. And I think even couples that have been married for a long time could um, just benefit from seeing the two of them interact with the love that they share for each other. Jin and Nell, they enjoy um, being in each other's presence. They have fun together. They're strongly committed to each other. And most of all, they practice good communication. And we all know how important communication is to any relationship, right? Yes or no? Come on. Yes, all right. So, I mean, they, they practice it. I'm telling you, I've seen it so many times. Like, Nell tells Jin what to do, and he does it. Perfect communication. You know? So, I mean, they, they, they're really good. Um, so I just want to say, um, Um, now, I just want to say welcome to the family again. You are very special, and it's no wonder Jen wanted to marry you twice. That is awesome. Um, and, and Jen just said it, right? I was going to say, there's a saying, happy wife, happy life. And Nell really, really hates when people say it. 
So I'm not going to say it. You didn't hear it from me. But I will give Jim some advice. Make sure your wife is happy. And then your life will be very happy. And remember, the best way to make her happy is through her stomach. She likes to eat, man. Okay. Yes. She's a good cook, that's the thing. So somebody's got to eat the food. And I know she's been cooking for me for a lot of years, so she's a very good cook. Well, the two of you have been married for a long time, so you don't need advice, but I encourage you to keep God at the center of your relationship, and it will only get stronger and sweeter. So on behalf of my Irie wife back there, my, uh, oh, <laughs> my daughter Amelia, and my little boy on the way, JJ, congratulations to both of you. Um, and I just want to say, like sand through an hourglass, so may the days of your lives be. Congratulations.